मनी हाइस्ट पार्ट फाइव बोलिए मन लेट्स वॉच इट locked up for a hundred hours trapped about to be killed and having lost a best friend it feels like a hundred years have gone by checkmate listen to professor hi listen the stormwater tank has been discovered it's possible this is the last time i'll speak to all of you we got them captain I'm bringing the military in. They'll come out victorious or come out dead. Say goodbye, Omar. No father. No plan. No hope. We're up against the ropes. But we're not going to end up in the morgue. This is our last dance, Fatty. Make it a good one. Right now. With me, you'll find authentic liberation. And if we ever have to pay a price for it, then we pay it. So this is the ending season. Season villain finale of La Casa de Papel, La Casa de Papel. Yeah, there is no sugar coating needed. This is the most popular Spanish show on Netflix, and we got Arsela Corbero from this. She she looked devilishly awesome in Snake Eyes, by the way. This is going to be emotional. Saying goodbye to this show. The finale just like Netflix parted two season into four parts. So finale volume one and volume two we will be releasing September three and December respectively. body you live by my rules I'm sorry I don't know what came over me please let me fix it so I can fix it again you are a loser Daddy Brock I want to give you my story people love serial killers please why me what's mine is yours and what's yours is mine I have tasted blood before and that is not it. All I ever wanted in this world is carnage. could you say i'm happy for you that was going to be us i am happy for you no god i'm so sorry not sorry this dude in some serious couples counseling 
Trailer number one was more of a sneak peek introduction of Carnage, while this trailer number two, which more, which shows most of it, uh, Cletus Cassidy, the host symbiote of Carnage versus Eddie Brock, host of Venom. So this is like SmackDown between these two, Tom Hardy and Woody Harrelson. And both of them looks great. Michelle Williams doesn't have any time in this or in the movie, I think. This will be mostly between Carnage and Venom. This is this is long awaited trailer and it looks great. The movie will be great too, I, I guess. I'm hoping, I just, I'm just hoping that it releases without any more delay because it was supposed to release in October of 2020, I guess, so, yeah. Hey everyone, welcome to Nobs Rating Movie Trailer, so vacation friends, uh, so let's do it. Oh, there they are. Ladies and gentlemen, the bride and groom to be Emily and Marcus! What the hell is that? You son of a bitch! You said we were best friends! Yeah! It's like fucked up! What are you two doing here? <laughs> oh my god! Excuse me. This is a private event. Oh, it's cool. We know the bride and groom. We met these two animals down in Mexico. <laughs> Does the salt not taste salty? Oh, because it's cocaine. What? We actually brought it from home. Very, very easy if you ever want to try it. It's just a Ziploc and a full shampoo bottle. And it's so much more comfortable than when I had it in my ass. Mm. Okay, look, we just got a container. <laughs> this only happened because you said see you later. I said it without meaning it like any decent person would. <laughs> and somehow he's charming my dad. Hope you're comfortable letting him force him. Oh, there's at least one girl involved. Everywhere they go. Fuck you, you baby fickle bitch! Chaos happens. This weekend is all about you. Well, I like the sound of that. We do too. Jesus. Good evening, everyone. What is he doing up there? Marcus and I crossed paths in Mexico. You guys know each other intimately. This is the best wedding I've ever been to. Put that bottle on your head. Babe, he's not serious. We've been drinking it. <laughs> Count it! You hit the bottle this time! What the fuck? Jackpot. The devil's dick. Most potent magic mushroom on earth. I ate it. Why? You told me to. I didn't say eat it. Man, everything you touch, turn into drugs. I will, I will, I will, I will. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, Marcus. Hey, this is a comedy movie, but first I just gotta say, John Cena looks great and... I don't know about you, but John Cena is great in comedy roles. I liked him in F9 and but Suicide Squad and this type of roles uh, suits him, I think. So this is a comedy about uh, couples getting married, Lil Real Howry and woman, I don't know the name, uh, when couple of casual friends from some vacation crashes their wedding. This is gonna be hilarious, one of the other John Cena movie like Blockers, this type of, it's coming August 27th. There is only one question that matters. Do you swear on your life that what you say is true? My father told me my life would be blessed with good fortune. I'm married. I was a good wife. And then was judged and shamed by my country. I say before all of you, I spoke the truth. The most unspeakable charge has been brought against you. Jacques Legree entered our home. He attacked me. The accusation is false. I am telling the truth. The truth does not matter. 
There is only the power of men. This should be settled quietly. I am innocent! I request a duel to the death. If you lose, your wife will suffer dire consequences. One of us has lied. Let us let God decide. You do not believe me. I am risking my life for you. You are risking my life so you can save your bride. The penalty for bearing false witness is that you are to be burned alive. I will not be silent. So this is uh, this movie is based on the book The Last Duel, a true story of trial by combat in medieval France. The screenplay for this movie is written by Matt Damon and uh, Ben Affleck. I don't know if they together ever wrote any screenplay other than Goodwill Hunting, which got the Oscars. Both of them wrote uh, and star in it. The story what we get from the trailer is is around uh, 14th century. Margaret, played by Jodie Comer, claims that she has been raped by husband's uh, her husband's best friend. Jack uh, Jack's leg is played by Adam Driver. So Jean de Carus played by Matt Damon challenges, challenges his friend uh, trial by combat, which is fight till one survives. Which was the last legally sanctioned duel in France history at that time. So the name, the last duel. It looks great. So. This is the movie trailer of Cry Macho. Let's watch it. Back when we had winners, I was afraid to lose you to the competition. Five times you won the All-American. That was a long time ago, wasn't it? That was before the accident. Before the booze. You know how many people told me to just cut you loose? You gonna say anything? Howard. I've always thought of you as a small, weak, and gutless man. But you know, there's no reason to be rude. You owe me, Mike. You gave me your word. And that used to mean something. My son, Rafael, he's in trouble. I want to get him out of Mexico. You want me to go down there and kidnap him? Please, just get him back up here. Just you? Just me. Rafa, you can come out now. I'm a friend of the family. Touch me and I'll kick your ass, old man. Jesus Christ. Get in the back. We go and I tell you, okay? Look, the only place you're gonna go is the hospital. You get too angry. It's not good for you. You used to be strong, macho. I used to be a lot of things. But I'm not now. Now I'll tell you something. This macho thing is overrated. Just people trying to be macho show that they've got grit. That's about all they end up with. It's like anything else in life, you think you got all the answers. I'm Mike. Marta. And you realize as you get older, you don't have any of them. We all have to make choices in life, kid. You have to make yours. His name is Macho. Like me. Very strong rooster. Whatever. What's wrong with that? Nothing. I want to... Name is Cock Macho. <laughs> it's okay by me. Road is pretty much the former rodeo star played by Clint Eastwood who has had to return a young boy to his father, I guess. Uh, one of the amazing things is Clint Eastwood is uh, 91 years old and he's directing and 
starring in movies still and this one is directed by him and also starring in it. I watched his early movies but uh, as he gets older he gets better. In his 80s, his masterwork movies such as American Sniper, Sally 15 is to 17 to bed, The Mule, Richard Jewell and uh, now Cry Macho. This one is kind of like The Mule that he did earlier couple of years ago with Bradley Cooper. He is a living legend and uh, Grand Torino is was one of my favorite movies of all time and this one Cry Match also look great and uh, can't wait to watch it. It's coming September 17th this year. Hey everyone, welcome to Rubriks. This one is Cinderella 2021. Uh, let's watch the trailer. This is it. Dresses by Ella. Here's a laugh. This girl fancies herself a businessman. <laughs> Cinderella, it's only my love for your father, rest his soul, that stands between you and a life on the street. I have to make a life for myself. I'll sell one of my signature dresses. Soon everyone will love my name. To make sure your nuptials are done properly, we shall hold a ball. You shall find a bride. Somebody to love. Cinderella, you don't need to go to the ball. Please, stepmother, I spent weeks making this dress. My future depends on it. Ooh, yes! I am your fabulous godmother. Do you want to go to that ball and meet a bunch of rich people who will change your life? Yes, I was just crying and singing about it like two minutes ago. Then go, you shall! Oh, look at that. This is different. I don't okay, think... Dad, you said you wanted to be a businesswoman. It's magic time. Holy... Where's my tail? I can't balance without my tail! Here I go again. I'm imagining a world outside of it didn't happen, and even if it did happen... Hi. Would you like to dance? Right now. Where did you get that dress? I designed it. I pick you to be my princess. What about my work? I don't want a life stuck waving from a royal box any more than a life confined to a basement. If it's a man, it's a white, I'm gonna be that one. If it's a... I have dreams. Dad, I have to chase. I'm gonna be... Marry him and all of our problems will be solved. It's too late. Life outside this basement starts right now. They're glass. Any way you can make them more comfortable? No. But you just did a whole thing. Even magic has its limits. So the plot is same as the fairy tale but it's different it's nothing like the fairy tale it's modern take as the fairy godmother is gay type of representation and uh, cinderella is feminist type so it's nothing like the fairy tale but it's what happens in today's world if, if the whole scenario happens in today's world yeah not today in some part. it looks cool and all but camilla is not much of an actress but as this is a musical so it sums up everything so let's see how it received you know, it's like the whole thing has changed. Hey everyone, welcome to Nubrix. This is uh, Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, Stone Ocean. Let's watch the trailer.私の青春が強くなる。東方帝は被告ジョリーン空上を15年間修理グリーンドルフィンストリート19K 
<笑>あなたに面会人が来る絶対に面会室に行っちゃいけないんだ何これお守りのようだよ行った離婚した君のお父さんが娘の君が困った時に渡すようにとお母さんに言ったらしい死ぬより恐ろしいことがあってそれがこの刑務所で起こっているのは確実なんだ全てはこの男が仕組んだものだあの交通事故糸あそこの明かり窓から飛び降りたらさ死ぬと思うこの刑務所に送られる直前私はあれを拾ったんだジョリー俺はここからお前を出すために来た何なのよこれは手に入れたらしいそれがスタンドだ私はこの石の海から自由になる。So it's long running Netflix manga, it's Japanese, it's based on Japanese manga, it's, it's, this is part 5, it follows Jolene Kujo who has been sentenced for 15 years in prison. Yeah, in maximum security and、uh, with her estranged father, she prepares a plan for prison break, I guess. It、uh, looks, yeah, manga fan art can get. Is a national emergency. We are proposing the Treasury Fund offering compensation to the victims. Ken, we'll have to negotiate all settlements. The victims and their families will be compensated based on economic value loss. That's where the formula comes in. 80%. Any fewer come aboard, the lawsuits that result could crater the economy. Payment for everybody.、Yeah. My daughter's worth just as much as anybody in a corner office. My wife died that day, and everything about this formula offends me. Sorry to hear that. But we can't bend the rules for every case. Why not? Congress gives you broad discretion. But when 7,000 citizens ask you not to be treated like some numbers on a spreadsheet, you act like that law came down from Sinai. I know the rules. State law says we were nothing to each other. But I'm the one he called. Before the end. I have to be the man that he was. She's the one who called the tower on the radio. Mommy's not coming home. He called me when they were trapped there. It takes a parent to know that、I、feeling. A beautiful boy. He makes sure that they get what they need. This is the latest, huh? It's not enough. Throw out your formula. Because it's not perfect. 
No. Because it's not just. We have to fight for the left behind. We can't bring them back, but we can help their loved ones. You're not a rabbi or a priest. You're a lawyer. And that's exactly what these people need right now. What would your life be worth? Are you just trying to win? I'm trying to make things right. So it's a biography movie based on what is life's worth by Kenneth Feinberg. Feinberg played by Michael Keaton in this one, an American attorney, and this is his life story. Yeah, it's going to be. Give the agent the go ahead, Miss James. Okay, Sam. We've trained for the situation. And you know what to do. Missions a go. We've been breached. A talking ape. I prefer chimp. This is the earliest known photo of Daniel Hall. He's attempting to build some sort of new weapon. <laughs> he must be stopped. Mm -hmm. I have an idea. We are going to take over. What? Oh, attacking? Is that part of the plan? I didn't know that. Is attacking part of the plan to take over the world? Clearly you're new to this whole evil thing. When humanity faces its greatest threat. It's imperative we have that data. Be careful, partner. One hero. <laughs> Sam, that's disgusting. <laughs> we'll swing into action. Maintaining an appropriate level of physical training is important. Please, this is a serious mission. Yes! Don't leave me hanging. I should be running this operation. Me. <laughs> you want mysterious monkey. Don't hate the player, hate the game. My dad, right? Madeline Keats, Sophia Alonji, Skip Schwenk. Who that? Where are you going? Never mind, I don't care. Take this back to the lab. Saving the world is all monkey business. Who was that funky monkey? CIA. So this is a spy type movie where spy is an ape with very cheap CGI of course, it's a very low budget cause the idea like that can be taken seriously but it's uh, some sub to a fine kid family type movie so this is it CIA CIA Hey everyone, welcome to Nobrex, this is the movie trailer of the card counter uh, let's watch the trailer There is a weight a man can accrue. This is where all the good stuff happens. The weight created by his past actions. It is a weight which can never be removed. All in. You count cards, right? I'm not that smart. But you win. You need someone to stake you. That's what you do, you run a stable. I'm always looking for a good thoroughbred. <laughs> Having been sentenced to 10 years in prison, I learned to count cards. How'd you do that? Poker's all about waiting. Check, raise, re-raise, call. Then something happens. You remember it? This is where all the good stuff happens. <laughs> They made you the fall guy. You need to back off. You've been around him. He's a mystery. And I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. This is how it starts. Just a fleeting thought. You might want a piece of what I'm gonna do. Then it builds. Well, what is that? Set things straight. 
It doesn't matter to me if you did something bad in your past. Nothing, nothing can justify what we did to him. We are each responsible for our own actions. You know the phrase tilt, just like a pinball. Any man can tilt. You can tilt. Is it possible to know when one reaches the limit? You have to be the strangest poker player I ever met. Oh, you have no idea. The star of it is amazing. It's a ensemble kind of Oscar Isaac, Tiffany Haddish, Ty Sheridan, William Defoe. This movie is about a gambler, and uh, yeah, it looks kind of it looks good. It's kind of like uh, Martin Scorsese vibe. Yeah, he, he presents this movie, and it's his. You know, if you follow the screenplay, it's kind of like his type. This is the final season trailer of Lucifer. Let's check out the trailer. Let's just start with what you were doing before the event this evening. I was bribing a motorcycle cop. You were bribing a police officer. Indeed, not for the first time. And up until recently, you consulted for the LAPD. <laughs> and you also claim that you're the devil. Was the devil. God now. Well, nearly. And how old would you say you are again? The one time works very differently in hell, so... He's just sensitive about his age. I mean, even I don't know the real number. It's time for you to assume your place on Father's throne. What's the rush? Becoming God is a big job. Maybe he doesn't want to go in half cocked. I should definitely be full cocked. I need your help. I thought I wasn't your therapist anymore. But look at what's happened. The world has no God. Clearly, I belong on his couch. Lucifer, what is that? That is my throne. Excuse me. Something I can help you with? Want to help me destroy Lucifer Morningstar? The laws of nature are breaking down. And the apocalypse is nigh. Bollocks. There's only one thing we can do. Vacation in Colombia. Beautiful beaches, mountains of illicit drugs. None of us know exactly how it's going to end. Relax, dude. He was like that when I found him. Never bring a knife to a devil fight. I'm ready. I hope so. Because I make quite the entrance. We still have one mystery left to solve. The murder of Lucifer Morningstar. I certainly did not see this coming. So after five seasons and 83 episodes uh, later, Lucifer coming to an end. You know the story, those of you who are following the show. It's about Lucifer Morningstar, a god, and his life on LA. So yeah, you know what's, uh, what's last season going to bring, so yeah. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. This is very surprising. I can't believe that it's ending. Brooklyn 99 final season. This is the teaser trailer, I guess. So let's watch it. I'm scared that my time with you will be cut short. No more stakeouts or drinks after a long shift or midnight calls when you've had a breakthrough in a case. I've always had this image of us in our 90s hunting down criminals at the retirement home. But I guess that was just a dumb fantasy. Jake, are you crying? No. Yes. In the face of crisis. I seem to have sent a digital phallus portrait. Oh no, you sent him a pic. 
chaos. The other district sent us their Hitchcock and Scully's. Dear God. Nine nine. Nine nine. And child care. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? You're supposed to be getting back from daycare. One team will rise. This workplace is my family. Was that not clear? Holt is my dad. You're my mean older sister. Amy's my mom. What? What? What did I say? For one hot damn last ah. ride. It is, as Peralta would say, no big whoop. But I actually don't pronounce the H in whoop. Let's ride. My edibles just kicked in. Ah! the end oh dear Woo! of the nine nine well it seems i was wrong so whoop is big after all A again though there's there's no h in whoop 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 am i crazy how do you say it say whoop okay brooklyn nine nine the final season premieres august 12th on nbc and watch all past seasons on peacock so after like seven season, this is the Jada of the eighth season and final one. Damn, it's going to be hard. I mean, uh, hard to let go. I watched, uh, I binge watched the, I binge watched all of nine nine seven season last year and it was hilarious. Good times during first ever lockdown, so it's definitely hard to let go. I'm going to miss this show very much. This is the eighth season and uh, just ten episodes, which is awful way to go. I hope they give it at least good endings. Most. Most of the time this show goes smoothly and at the finale they messed up but uh, this show has a uh, minimum chance for that so yeah. It's going to be hard to let go, I'm just, I don't want, yeah, let's see what happens. Welcome to my channel, so today I'll be talking about the new trailer. TV series trailer of uh, Nine Perfect Strangers. So let's watch the trailer. You here for the 10 day retreat, Us 2.0? I certainly am. Apparently, I'm in need of some fixing. Welcome to Tranquillum House. The people who come here, they come to heal. I don't want to suffer. You're already suffering. Breakfast, 7. Lunch, noon. Dinner, 7.30. And how many guests are there? Nine total. Wellness retreats? It's such utter crap. And yet here you are. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's go meditate. I want you all now to close your eyes. You want to get well? You want to heal? Surrender yourself to me. I'm gonna fix you. So, what's your story? I have one. Everybody has a story. That's why she picked us. What do you mean she picked us? We complement each other's demons. I'm not sure I'm really supposed to be here. My vote is give this thing a shot. Open up a new door. Some doors are meant to stay closed. Yeah, it could be a real shit show. What the hell do I know, right? This is a particularly volatile group. Let's start the protocol. I don't think they're ready. <sighs> it's perfectly safe. I've been feeling unlike myself. The wheels starting to fall. She picked nine people who needed to be in a place where they would try anything she wanted. Have you all gone mad? <laughs> There's nothing to fear. Because this... It's gonna change everything. This is where I want to Masha batshit or is she the real deal? This is all I need. So this is drama miniseries coming on Hulu August 18th. So the premise is like uh, every Vilimo TV series made based on this very concept or 
this very scenario. It's they go on a retreat or some vacation uh, and in mind to heal and get better but after a while they get uh, you know concerned about something wrong with the village and the host might be shady or, um, or controlled by some other being. But this one has something unique which is the talent, the ensemble talent. Let's say how many, I know, Nicole Kidman, Melissa McCarthy, Luke Evans, Samara Waving, Michael Shannon, Regina Hall, Bobby Cannavale, seven of them, but uh, probably like four of them are in the nine perfect strangers. So today I'll be talking about the new movie trailer of Lady Gaga, uh, House of Gucci. Let's it was a name that sounded so sweet, so seductive, synonymous with words, style, power. But that name was a curse too. I've been a Gucci all my life. Your name is in the history books. Paul, if you are Gucci, you need to dress the part. It's chic. Gucci needs new blood. It's time to take out the trash. You're my family. So am I. You picked a real firecracker. She's a handful. Bravo. I don't consider myself to be a particularly ethical person, but I am fair. Can you keep a secret? Father, son, and house of Gucci. Ridley Scott is making a lot of this type of ways like uh, all the money in the world or the last one was uh, the, yeah another one coming the last one which is also a biographical kind of crime but that was different but this one is kind of like all the money in the world and now this the house of Gucci this is biographical crime not much of a successful genre it's biographical crime it's about a woman try to assassinate her uh, ex-husband and uh, as all of this shit happened inside the great Gucci family, it has become a book called The House of Gucci, a sensational story of murder, madness, glamour and uh, greed and now it, it's a movie. The character that Gaga plays is uh, Patricia Reggiani. If you look into the Wikipedia of her, it says she is known for murdering her husband, <laughs> Mauricio. Lady Gaga looks okay, I guess. Uh, not really great, but I don't know. I don't know. She is playing a criminal, but uh, it's like she is playing herself. So maybe she she is kind of like that. Hey everyone, welcome to Rose React to Trailers. This one is trailer number two of Ghostbusters After Life. Let's check out the trailer first. You're a great mom. I don't know. I'm fine with Trevor. But with Phoebe, she really keeps me on the outside. That's normal. She's an awkward, nerdy kid. Maybe a new home can be an opportunity to start fresh. I just wish she'd get into some trouble. There's still time. What are you doing here in Somerville, anyway? We're completely broke. And our grandfather left us this creepy old farmhouse in the middle of nowhere. If 
father wasn't much of a homemaker. He could hardly keep the power on. You're saying he left us nothing? Well, I wouldn't say nothing. You went with the station wagon? It's the only one that had an engine. What is happening here? Somehow, a town with no fault lines is shaking on a daily basis. Maybe it's the apocalypse. Egon came out here for a reason. Are you troubled by strange noises in the middle of the night? Do you experience feelings of dread in your basement or attic? Have you or any of your family ever seen a spook, specter, or ghost? Oh my god. You guys hear that? Something's coming. The whole city took like the walking dead. closed okay first of all i love the origin ghostbusters i enjoyed the female ghostbusters of course because of tom christian's work but uh, that was straight trash not trash you know i don't want to be harsh but it was it is a bad movie yeah but this one the first word pops in my head is nostalgia i mean this was a i mean this has full connection it's like the sequel of the original I mean, this has a full connection with the original, as it is the as it is the sequel of original Ghostbusters. Polaroid is looking good too. So, overall, I'm hoping it turns out as we are expecting, because the 2016 version ruined a lot of things for Ghostbuster fans. But uh, yeah, this one is Bill Murray and Dan Arquette, the original one. So, it's going to be. I'm hoping it turns out great. This one is Jackass Forever. Uh, let's check it out first and we'll take it out. We'll meet again. Don't know where. Don't know when. But I know we'll meet again some sunny day. What will Jackass be like once we're older? Well, it'll get more mature. The faster you pedal your bike, the faster the other guy's hand goes back. You said it wasn't gonna feel like anything. Concussions aren't great, but as long as you have them before you're 50, it's cool. And Knoxville's 49, so we're good. Oh! Can you feel my heart? <laughs> wow! Today, we're going to do a little furniture shopping. I've been watching Jackass since I was 12 years old. And guess what? We're here. We have winners, and we have Steve-O. There ain't a bunch of NASA scientists right now. What did you guys do to Eric? Fail to prepare, prepare to fail. You still got those million dollar teeth, that's for sure. <laughs> Gee, didn't set myself up for failure on this one. Aaron, please relax. I'm trapped. 
and you're putting honey on me and salmon? Oh my god. Just when you thought Jackass might be over, then Jackass is adapted to this generation with awfully hilarious yet super dangerous terms. I mean, uh, it's fourth Jackass, uh, it's fourth of Jackass's franchise after Jackass's 3D. All of them cast uh, are, are at their 50, I guess, and still damn good. They are, uh, they are saying this is the last one, and but uh, it will be good to see them in next 10 years and doing some shit in their 60s, 70s, and 80s, and till they are gone. Today I'll be talking about the trailer of new Will Smith movie uh, for a minute, but let's check out the trailer first. It's uh, King Richard. What's going on? Everybody okay? They got a call, said there was trouble in the house. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, you all need to look around. It's a little wet for practice, don't you think? Don't the girls have schoolwork to do? They do their homework. Tundi's first in her class. Lynn and Isha are too. Now I need mind you saying we hard on these kids. You know why? Because we are. That's our job, to keep them off these streets. You want to check on the kids? Let's check on the kids. We got future doctors and lawyers, plus a couple tennis stars in this house. The chances of achieving the kind of success that you're talking about is just very, very unlikely. OK, you're making a mistake, but I'm going to let you make it. Watch me hit a few balls. All right. So tell me your names again. I'm Venus. I'm Serena. So what do you think? I wrote me a 78-page plan for their whole career before they was even born. Yeah, baby, yeah! <laughs> These girls are so great, how come I've never heard of them? They're from Compton. It's OK. They're just not used to seeing good-looking peoples like us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's nervous. Take a step up. Maybe she ought to take a few more steps up. Just get someplace safe. I think you might just have the next Michael Jordan. Oh, no, brother man. I got me the next, too. This next step you got to take, you're not going to just be representing you. You're going to be representing every little black girl on Earth. They're not going to let you doubt. How could you? This world ain't never had no respect for Richard Williams, but they're going to respect y'all. Oh. You walk out there with your head up. You are a champion, and the whole world know it. The most dangerous creature on this whole earth. It's a woman who know how to think. Yes, Daddy. Ain't nothing she can't do. You gonna show them how dangerous you are? Venus and Serena gonna shake up this world. Venus Williams, who is your best friend? Hey, Daddy. Serena Williams, <laughs> who is your best friend? Venus. Then you. That's <laughs> Thank you. After Venus. It's the epic biography of Serena Williams and Venus Williams, world famous tennis player. But uh, this story is, uh, but this is the story about who made them and. Uh, the early life of these two legends. This, this movie will turn out kind of like as both of the stories share similarity at some point. Dangal, number one highest was in Bollywood movies, uh, which was different sports part, which is kind of like that. Which stars Amir Khan, who was also great, but uh, but there's a lot of Indian stuff in that. This one, uh, King Richards, uh, this one looks great. Will Smith might get uh, nominated for Oscar for his performance as uh, Serena and Venus's father, Richard. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. So this is Snake Eyes, final trailer. I, I know the movie already released, but who cares? I, uh, just watch it anyway. <laughs> I don't watch the movie yet, so. I'm not a murderer. I looked in 
into your eyes and I saw honor. I owe you. We are going home. I don't have a home. Not yours. Mine. What is it exactly you do? For 600 years, our ninja have brought peace to the world. But things have changed. I need warriors like you to become the future of the clan. It's yours, if you want it. Let's go. Can't change your past. I can offer you something more important. A home. I came to make you an offer, Tommy. Call me. Storm Shadow. As of now, the movie already made like 50 million with a budget of 100 million dollars. So it's going great. As it releases uh, only like uh, eight nine days ago, it received mixed reviews from critics. They don't like the writing, editing, direction of action, but uh, like the performance. So I think the audience are loving it. I'm going to watch it in 45 days when it comes to Paramount Plus. Hey everyone, welcome to Nox React to Vita Lars of The Gateway. Let's watch it. My name is Parker Joe and I'm with Social Services. I need police and paramedics. I had a uh, female DOA. I'm your social worker. You got a daughter who needs to get to school on time. Stop prying into my family. I'm trying to keep Ashley from being taken away from you. I didn't know you were getting out today. Dahlia! Huh? You're the man who's been looking after my family, huh? I'm back. I'd love nothing more than have to come by anymore. Prodigal son is home. Caught some chatter on the inside that might be a real score. You take care of business. We're going in there for the money and the drugs. I'm worried about Ashley. I'm also concerned for you. What you think you know? Cops came to see me. Tell me this isn't happening again. What you hold so dear. You think you could do a big favor for Dad today? What you think? You this happened here because of you. You got the cartel after all of us. Why are you even helping us? No one helped me when I needed it most. They're in trouble. I'm in trouble. I've seen so many families. The cliff that they're about to fall off of. And there's nothing I can do to stop it. You actually can help people. You have an opportunity to get something done. You all have to work for someone. If this was your family, what would you do? very unusual for me as I don't like this type of movies, I don't watch this sort, I mean the type of movies that Bandai must even Seagal in made this type of movies, it's, it's kind of like that but I, I like watching Frank Rillo's Manana so I don't even know the main guy, the main star, I, I just know Olivia Moon and Frank Rillo so this movie is, uh, yeah well, you get, you watch the trailer. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. This is me talking about the long-awaited and fully functional.
ट्रेडिशनल ट्रेलर ऑफ डून लेट्स चेक इट आउट एंड वेट फॉर दैट माय प्लैनेट अरेकिस इज सो ब्यूटीफुल व्हेन द सन इज लो रोलिंग ओवर द सैंड्स यू कैन सी स्पाइस इन द एयर द आउटसाइडर्स रैवेज आवर लैंड्स इन फ्रंट ऑफ आवर आईज Their cruelty to my people is all I've known. What's to become of our world? Oh. A boy. <laughs> Duncan, can I trust you with something? Yes, always, you know that. I've been having dreams about a girl on Arrakis. I don't know what it means. Dreams make good stories. Everything important happens when we're awake. Me and you, put on some muscle. I do. No. We are House of Trades. There is no call we do not answer. There is no faith that we betray. Smile, Gurney. I am smiling. The Emperor asks us to bring peace to Arrakis. House of Trades accepts. I know you. There's something awakening in my mind. You need to face your fears. Come with me. You need to be ready. You've never met Harkness before. They're not human. They're brutal. The Duke suddenly sees too much. This is my dude. Kill them all. off the ground go this is an extermination they're picking my family off one by one let's fight like demons that what if i'm not the future of house of trades a great man doesn't seek to lead He's called to it. But if your answer is no, you'll still be the only thing I ever needed you to be, my son. If anything happens, will you protect Paul with my life? Together, can we stand a chance? It's time. This is epic science fiction, and it looks uh, really big and epic. This movie get like best ensemble cast. Every single one is impressive. Oscar Isaac, Dave Bautista, Josh Brolin, Jason Momoa, Zendaya, uh, Javier Bardem. I didn't watch the 1980s Dune, but the story seems very complex and it requires a lot of main lead. But the simple story would be about the desert planet Arrakis, also known as Dune, which has the most valuable substance, melagne, that extend human life and. and provide super human ability and lot of shit happens from there because of the greed you know kind of like avatar i guess yeah let it release this will find this don movie is massive it's going to be massive but i can uh, but it can go either way somewhat a big hit or a big flop uh, so it's not a sure hit This is a lot of only murders in the building. Let's take a look. This doesn't make sense. Where do we start? At the very beginning. I got in the elevator with these two weirdos. Then Tim got in the elevator. Approximately 12 minutes from now, I will be murdered. 
Tim Kono's death has been ruled a homicide, and apparently one of you jerk-offs did it. I can't stop thinking about this. Neither can I. We should do our own true crime podcast. We're going to go down there and look around for clues. Do you want to come? Do I want to break into a dead guy's apartment and go through all his shit? Sounds like an afternoon. Right now, the only thing that matters is that there's a killer on the loose in our building. Oh, that is a very good line. Badly delivered, but a good line. I think we're onto something big here. And these are? Candid photos I took of our neighbors. Why are they all selfies? So I don't draw suspicion. It's so hot in here. Do we have to do this in a closet? The acoustics are better. And trust me, you need acoustics. I'm gonna pass out. Get the who, the how, the why, and the why now. Get, get the, the what and the what? See, why would you say what? I never said what. There's no what. Shit just got super real. I think our list of suspects just got longer. Hold on! Get out of the building now. Exclamation point. Exclamation point. Oh my god, oh my god. Help oh my god. me, somebody! Keep your eyes peeled. Anything can be a clue. There's a very strong chance that the killer is musical superstar Sting. The guy from U2. Oh! Do you consent to being recorded? Just say anything to agree. No, please. Thanks, perfect. <laughs> I'm so mechanical in doing this. We're gonna cut. Um, I like the emotion. Keep that. I kind of need you to enunciate better. Do you have anything? The crying is covering the dialogue. Oh, that's a good, that's a good note. Okay. When you're ready, and action. The cast is super unusual and impressive, hilarious and super awesome and funny and written by the great Steve Martin. He is the lead guy, but he also writes a lot of stuff uh, such as the masterpiece, the jerk, and uh, uh, Bowfinger, Pink Panther 1, 2, and a lot of others. So this one is about three unusual people, Serena Gomez, Martin Shorts and Steve Martin, wrapped up in one good and type mystery of murders. This type of show gives chills. This type of show is great. Man, I mean, uh, it gives chills. Uh, one time it's funny and uh, we are laughing and the next you are scared, you are scared as fuck. So this is the most I am looking forward to watch the TV shows. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Let's talk about. Uh, let's take a look at the new trailer of C season two. It's gonna be great. The mighty Baba Voss, a fearless warrior in a world without sight. Everyone close to you always ends up suffering. Now it's your turn, brother. I swore I would never return here. But he don't took my daughter. She would never say where she came from. I need to find out where he's hiding her. Yes, they don't matter. What do you see? A shift in the world. Goodbye, Ruby Tuesday. We are chosen to usher in a new world. I carry within me a child born with God's gift of vision. Sight will return. And the first nation to harness its powers will dominate the world. You're declaring war on the greatest military force in the world. This is not our fight. If we walk away, thousands of people will die. I know this enemy. I was this enemy. They fight to enslave. We fight for freedom. I say we open our gate right now.
and welcome them to hell! There are weapons more powerful than swords. They hold the key to our future. Welcome home, Baba. So this is the second season of Apple TV Science Fiction C starring Jason Momoa. This season looks like the showdown of Dead Bodies and Jason Momoa. This show is uh, this show is authentic and it's uh, growing, which is great. Looking forward to it. Uh, this is the most popular show on Apple TV, so it's gonna be great, anyways. Let's check out the trailer and we'll talk about it. Ludwig Dieter, we've been watching you and we want to recruit you. You're familiar with the outbreak in America. For the one turning people into flesh eating monsters? Yes, I heard something about it. The world's distracted. This window of opportunity isn't just our only chance, it's yours. My only chance for what? A life less ordinary. We have guns, we have guns. This is about becoming legends. Any questions? No. Yes, many. Hundreds. So if you know Ludwig Dieter from the movie Army of the Dead, then you will know that it's his story. Every quill six years before the events of Army of the Dead. This follows Natalie Emanuel casting a group of uh, group of thieves to pull off a heist. The main my man Gus got a good role. Yes. Produced by Zack Snyder, which is great. I am glad that Army of Dead universe is expanding and this looks really good. And Netflix is great in casting, by the way.